Hi, my name is Arshad Sayyad and I would like to say a big hi to everyone at the 9th Mumbai Shorts International Film Festival 2020. I came up with the idea of this film while I was working with Condenast India, which is a publication house behind fashion magazines like GQ and Vogue. While I was working there, I realized that fashion films in India was all about the clothes and I just wanted to make something different, something with a narrative. And that's how I came up with this idea. And the other thing is I wanted it to be dark. So yeah, that's, that's my inspiration behind it. Also, while dealing with the narrative, I wanted it to have a certain social message to it so that it just doesn't become another montage driven fashion film. I wouldn't say I uh, faced a lot of roadblocks while I was starting off. I just kept on going. I just made my way through the industry. I just did whatever came my way. And uh, so starting off with being a graphic designer, a 3D animation artist, then moving on to editing fashion films for a director to then gradually starting to direct my own. Managing human resources was kind of easy, I would like, I would say, because uh, while working with GQ and Vogue, I met a lot of models. I came in contact with a lot of stylists and makeup artists. Uh, and I always had one guy who was shooting a lot of content for me. So yeah, so it was just uh, six degrees of separation, I might say, because I uh, brought in a, a stylist, Kalyani Desai. She brought in Riviera Lin, who was a hair and makeup artist. And Riviera brought in Ritu Chauhan, who was a model. So yeah, so putting together the team for this was relatively easy for me. Uh, in terms of handling the financial resources for this film, I did the whole production myself. Whatever I had saved working as a freelancer over the past few years, I just put it all uh, into this project. Keeping in mind that I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I took a lot of favors. Uh, a lot, my entire team or the entire crew that came on for this project came on for free. Uh, considering that they had worked with me in the past. Uh, the location had come for free, it belonged to a photographer uh, who I had a great relation with. So yeah, so this is how I managed. And uh, in terms of post-production, I do a lot of editing, I do color grading, I design music. I have a friend who works with me who is a musician. So yeah, so it was fairly easy considering the experiences that I had in the past. There weren't many challenges as to shooting this film. The only sto uh, story that I can remember was uh, when the model Ritu Chauhan, she kind of dislocated her shoulder. It was really scary for us. Uh, more than me not being able to make this film, I was really concerned for her safety. Uh, but she was a champion on set and she just requested for a time out. She just took her time. She popped in her shoulder back in the socket, which was something that was unbelievable for us. But she did that, she took some time out and she came back and she finished this shoot for me. In terms of envisioning this film and the way it turned out, it was kind of opposite for me. Usually you envision a film at a certain scale and uh, for whatever reasons or restrictions, the film does not end up being as you have visualized. Uh, for Katisa, it was kind of opposite for me. I went on, I just brought my friends together. We just thought we'll just shoot a fashion film. Uh, and then we'll see where it goes and when I when I started working on it, when I started uh, the post-production and I saw the footage again, it just kind of spoke to me in a manner that I did not envision and this, this is how it all turned out. While making this film, uh, being a person who has been a part of the fashion film industry in India for the past eight years, uh, the audience that I was looking at was fashion designers. I wanted to show them what I can do. And uh, it was more like uh, something experimental, you know, a, a zone which a lot of fashion brands in India don't go. So this is this is what um, I was thinking when I was making this film. And I think I think the USP of this film is its cinematography, because uh, we were dealing with a closed set. It was a studio space, and uh, to create visuals which were striking and beautiful to look at was something that I think is the USB of this film. In terms of promotion and distribution, so this is the first film that I've made that I've sent out to film festivals and I've sent out to quite a few. And uh, the response has been great. I've already won at three uh, film festivals in Kolkata and I've been selected at a few, including uh, two international fashion film festivals. 
so yeah so that, so my plan is this since it's the first time that i'm sending films out to film festivals i don't exactly have a plan i just want to see how it goes why you should watch this film so filmmaking is really subjective there is really nothing that a person can tell you why you should be watching a film or not but um i think the visuals are really striking that's one reason why i would want anyone to see this film the music the background music has been great uh it's been worked on by me and kushal salyan who is a friend of mine uh and yeah and i think i think there's a there's a little uh, subtle message that i want to give about one exploring his own sexuality in a in a sacred way and not uh in any other way so yeah so that's the, the message that i want and to emerging filmmakers i i mean i'm i'm st- i'm one of you all you know i'm one of you all and the only thing i can tell you the only take away that i've had in the past 8 years is just keep at it pick up a camera just shoot stories there are stor- stories around us you know th- there could be any any small big story you don't need to uh, say it figure out a script and figure out a striking visuals i think i think what we need to focus more is creating narratives you know as simple as that may be and it, it should just be a narrative that touches um some nerve in a person that's all i am really glad to be a part of the 9th mumbai short international film festival and i know there are a lot of talented filmmakers who are selected uh, along with me and i would like to wish them all the best and yeah we should just keep doing what we do that's what it should be all about thank you